It's a very busy shift on delivery suite. Laura is a junior midwife and is looking after a woman in labour whose baby is being monitored continuously via electronic fetal monitoring. Laura has come out of the room to find a midwife or doctor to complete a routine hourly review, fresh eyes of the fetal heart rate. Due to high acuity, she's unable to find anyone to complete this with her until she sees consultant Christina. Oh, Christina, before yeah? you go, have you yeah. got two minutes? Sorry, just a really quick fresh eyes. Oh, my lady's ready in theatre. The It'll be really quick. In. I mean, I haven't filled it in, but it oh, will be quick. It doesn't matter. Um, we can do this together. OK, okay so baseline's fine, variability's fine, no decelerations, I think. It looks fine, don't you think? Um, Perfect. Oh, I guess. Thanks okay. so much. Thanks. Bye. Um, Getting fresh eyes done is usually asking a busy colleague to stop what they're doing and come and help you in your room. And that can be a real challenge and it can make both parties feel quite pressured. And also the other challenges in hierarchy can be if there's somebody working who's not approachable, who you don't have a really good relationship with, asking them to come and um, look at your CTG and come to an agreement uh, without any judgment can be a real challenge. The consultant was obviously rushed and um, was focused on the task in hand, which was for her going to theatre because her next um, case was ready. Um, and therefore, she didn't have the mental capacity um, or the time to fill out the fresh eyes appropriately. If you're struggling to find somebody to do your, your fresh eyes, you need to start thinking a little bit out of the box. Um, is your uh, midwife in charge available to you? Is there somebody down the corridor behind a room, uh, behind a door that's available to you? Or are there any doctors around? Doctors are excellent at interpreting CTGs and they're usually perfectly happy with doing fresh eyes and um, we should feel able to ask them to do that and I'm sure they'd be happy to do so. The midwife hadn't filled out their part of the um fresh eyes tool prior um, and there was no sort of independent communication. There wasn't an S-bar handover so the risk factors that may be pertinent to the case weren't covered and therefore the interpretation was taken out of clinical context. It's quite common uh, for us to feel like we need to tempt people to come and do our fresh eyes. We need to tell them my CTG is normal, this really isn't going to take you long. And of course the pitfall of that is that you've planted a seed in that person's brain already that they were going to look at as normal CTG, therefore they expect to see a normal CTG and potentially that is all that they will see. The consultant imposed her view on the midwife and the midwife didn't have any time to um, discuss her views or her opinions before the consultant left. So not only the midwife should have recognised that that wasn't the right person to approach and to potentially find another person who didn't have that time pressure on them, but also um, the consultant should have turned around and realised that they themselves weren't in a position to do it appropriately. In summary, when seeking a fresh eyes review, it's important to find the appropriate person to carry it out, someone who has the time to do it properly. Before asking for a fresh eyes review, you need to have filled it out yourself and you shouldn't unduly influence the person you are asking by using persuasive language to describe the CTG.